Yo, what is good guys? I got a special video for you today. What if you had a bunch of boys in one house versus a bunch of girls in another house, unsupervised? What do you think will happen? So I actually found clips from these two documentaries on TikTok. Boys Alone, Social Experiment, and then they also did a Girls Alone Social Experiment. So these documentaries were created back in the early 2000s, 2002 and 2003. And I'm gonna go ahead and take clips from these documentaries so we can see the differences between the boys and the girls because I'm a firm believer that boys and girls, men and women are different. We are not the same. We are counterparts that's meant to work with each other. We are the two sides to the same coin. But before we get into it, my name is Jay Hall. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, help our brother out, you know what I'm saying? And I also make music, I just dropped a new song. Yeah, I wasn't ready for love, don't think I know what it was. We was going 60 in a 25, what's the rush? I said I loved you, but I didn't mean it. Go ahead and stream it up for me, man. The link is in the description. And I also have an Instagram where you can DM me your questions, concerns, whatever. I try to respond to as many DMs as I can. And with that said, let's get into the video. So when both boys and girls were introduced to the house, of course, they had to start having their fun. And the boys also started destroying things. And this is how the girls played when they were first introduced to the house. when she sees what I've done, it's gonna be like- So both genders started playing around and painting on the walls, but the boys did do it at a more aggressive level than the girls, and as a result, they created a huge mess. So badly. We were trying to explore everything at once, weren't we? Yeah, I know. And got too carried away in ourselves. Are those walls just really burning me? What are they doing with it? Like on the first day, their mess was so bad that they just, they couldn't even clean it. They tried, but they weren't even using the right tools to begin with, and this is how it ended up going. Futile attempts at cleaning the walls are still going on. Do a bit more later, we need to let it dry. Yeah, I'll totally agree. Right. Right. Meanwhile, the girls' mess wasn't on as big of a scale as the guys. This time, it's Gabrielle who starts clearing up, and everyone else joins in. As you can see, they were using cleaning products and a vacuum. I didn't see the boys using that at all. And when it comes to food and cooking, this is what the boys did. It hasn't been an organized meal, and sugar has been the main source of sustenance. Everyone had completed a cooking course before the week began. Though at this stage, you wouldn't know it. So both genders completed a cooking course, and the best the boys could do was make cereal and drink coke. Crazy! So this is what the girls did. Sade tries to make cakes. Sherry takes charge of the cooking and prepares their first meal. So the boys filled up on sugar while the girls actually made a meal and had an organized dinner at the dining table. And I was actually pretty impressed. So the boys eventually divided up into two groups, the louder boys in one room and the quieter boys in the other. The group had divided into two gangs, the noisier boys in the big bedroom and the quieter boys in the small one. <gasps> Meanwhile, the girls split up into who is the mom of the group and who are the girls that just want to like run around and have fun. I didn't put the plug in. So keep in mind, this challenge is going on for a week. So a few more days into the challenge, this is how it's going for the boys. The atmosphere was becoming hysterical and aggressive. Almost everything had now been destroyed. <laughs> And this is just proof that, boys, we do need guidance. We have all this physical strength. And if it's not guided in the right way, we could destroy things. So this is why fathers are needed. Because a woman can't teach a man how to be a man. Only a man can really teach a man how to be a man and how to guide his energy. So meanwhile, the boys are destroying everything. The girls are organizing fashion shows. Nikki and Jessica organize a fashion show. Let's check in on the boys. Birthday morning. Good else doesn't have an apple fight. Orange bike. Come on, let's go. Oh, let's go trash and play a bit more. Bro. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see what the girls are doing. Charlie arranges a meeting to sort out who should do the cooking and the cleaning. Okay, they are assigning chores. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Hopefully, the boys do that too, man. Oh, watch it. Wait, 
know what? When I was a boy, I was kind of like that. Shit. All right, let's see what the girls are doing now. Whoa! Some of the girls have set up a beauty salon. I'm a customer. So from what I'm seeing with my own two eyes, the girls are setting up a functioning small community while the boys are just destroying everything. <laughs> Shit, damn. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, as a boy, I wasn't that destructive, but I did like to smash things. And I think a lot of boys do like doing that. Then again, I also knew how to cook because I'm Caribbean. When I was, I was cooking when I was like eight, nine. Frying eggs, cooking rice. <sighs> All right, since we got that stuff out of the way, let's get to the more emotional stuff. In each group, there is a scapegoat. There is one individual kid that the others couldn't tolerate. They didn't like them that much. And in the girls group, it was this girl named Sade. I just wanna do something. They're boring. She was the one girl that decided to annoy all the other girls out of her own enjoyment. Go up there and annoy them and make sure they don't get to sleep. They're asleep. <laughs> and not. <laughs> Go away. Hi. Stop it, it's not funny. We're trying to get to sleep. And she also had a pretty toxic tongue, which made a lot of girls cry in the group because you know, girls are very sensitive. She might have slit her wrist, check her arms. She, she looks ill. She looks dead. Yeah. Made a girl cry and pack up and leave. Crazy. You going home now? Yeah. Come back on Saturday to see you. And keep in mind, while all this was going on with the girl, Shade locked herself in the bathroom to get attention from the other girls. Shade has locked herself in the bathroom. Oh, she wants to. She wants to. So not only was she trying to annoy everyone, she was also an attention seeker. Eventually the girls got tired of her and decided to vote against her. If we had to vote someone out, who would it be? Let's Sade. Sade, I think she's annoying. Turn. 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 Turn Justin, who would you vote out? She's got seven. Okay. Seven votes. All right, so now let's head to the boys. So the boys scapegoat was a kid named Michael. Michael was made the scapegoat and his increasingly strange behavior made him an easy target. He was the first one to really like destroy everything and mess the place up. So what surprised me is that the boys grouped up and decided to go to a psychiatrist to discuss Michael's actions. <laughs> By the afternoon, the boys decided they wanted to speak to Dr. Scott, the program's child psychiatrist, about Michael. They some snitches, man, they snitched! In the meeting, the boys initially all turned against Michael, who watched on from his bed. He denied he'd been responsible for breaking everything. Eventually, the others agreed they were also to blame. Dr. Scott suggested the boys try to work together more as a group. Yeah, so after the meeting, they did try to work together, they did try to team up. Come on, Michael. Separate the house. Yes, no, no. 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 Right, no. let me explain Manhunt. Cheese Hunt, yes, the cheese. Shut up. I'm not playing till Michael's playing, all right? Because it's women yeah. in this group. All right, so they got Michael included. The group is coming together now. So instead of playing a friendly game of Manhunt, they decided to do something a little bit more extreme. The attempts to organize a group game turned instead into something more aggressive. Hunt the hedgehog. So their first instinct is to hunt the first animal they see instead of playing manhunt. Did you see that? Did you see that move? Did you see that move? Watch it move, watch it. And this went on for a cool minute until the film crew decided to intervene. They're like, you're not killing this hedgehog, no way. Some hedgehogs. Can't hear it, that stupid. Boom it up, boom it up. At this point, the film crew decided to intervene. When I lived in Jamaica as a kid, there were a lot of lizards running around on the ground. And I'm not proud of this now, but I used to kill those lizards in any way I could. I used to just hunt those lizards and kill them and like grab them by their tails and chop their tails off. I used to do some horrible shit as a kid, as a boy. And yeah, but now, now I wouldn't do that shit. But I, I don't know what it is about us that makes us do this, you know what I'm saying? So one thing I have to give the girls props for is how they try to help each other out and cheer each other up whenever any one of them is in distress. Um, what's her name? Sherry's upset. Oh, is it because your pajamas are wet? What happened anyway? They got upset because your duvet's wet. You and your mom and dad, you want a hula hoop? So we have this one girl, Sherry. She was pretty much the mom of the group. She cooked, she cleaned, 
She tried to make sure everyone ate right, and she just felt disrespected by some of the other girls on the team. Sherry has a further reason for being upset. Earlier in the day, Gabrielle had told her she was useless. Imagine being called useless when you contributed the most to the group. This actually made her pack her bags and leave the house early. To be honest, I would have left too. But I do like the fact that most of the girls came to comfort her and try to make her feel better. And meanwhile, this is how the boys will handle like a situation. Baba, you are friend. Wow. Are you my friend? Are you my friend, Robert? Robbie, come on, <laughs> we put this all behind us. <laughs> so as you can see, he left and they didn't try to follow him or try to cheer him up. So now we are at the end of the challenge. So this is where the parents come to get their kids back. And look at the differences between how the parents of the boys reacted versus the parents of the girls. Why did you trash the place? Oh, because we just got annoyed. Annoyed with what? Everything basically. What an well, experience. Well, really, really well. Oh, really fantastic. fantastic. Well, it looked a real mess. Thank you. I'm proud of that wave. Yep. Did you make anything? No, just break things. Hello. Hello, Charlie. Hello. 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 This was a fun video to watch to see the differences between the boys and the girls. The girls managed to come together more often. They were softer. They were more nurturing, but they could also be very emotionally abusive. Whereas the boys were more aggressive, more physical, destroyed a lot more things. And they weren't as together enough times as the girls were. But they did do well in selecting a leader and restoring order as a substitute to having parents earlier on in the challenge. Who voted for George? Three people, that's healthy, that's healthy. Who voted for me? Oh, Who voted for George? George? You're the right. leader. Yeah, they so they elected George as the new leader. And the first thing George did was write down everyone's complaints. And most of those complaints were about, guess who? Michael. This world could not survive if it was only men, and it wouldn't survive if it was only women. We need each other to balance each other out, man. We can't have too much or too little of the other. So really, it's not boys versus girls. It's not men versus women. It's acknowledging our differences, what makes us different, and seeing how those differences complement each other. And somewhere along the lines, that is getting misconstrued. People are starting to blur the lines between men and women, and it's confusing us. That's why more and more relationships are just failing. We gotta work at our strengths and acknowledge our differences, because that's how we're gonna make this society flourish. With that said, I'll see you on the next video, man.